Are you coming to Bonaire on vacation? Do you know the do's of Bonaire? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, and we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Kevin here on Bon Air with the do's of Bon Air. Now these are helpful tips, things you need to know and things you need to do when you're here on the island. We're not talking so much about activities like diving and, and windsurfing. We're talking about helpful hints and tips you need to do. So let's dive right in and get on with the do list. But what I want you to know is this video is not just for divers. As you know, Liz and I do a lot of scuba diving, shore diving uh, videos here about Bonaire, but this is for every visitor to Bonaire. These are things that you need to know. So let's get started with our list. And my first do's have to do really with travel to and from and being at the airport uh, and on the plane coming to or leaving Bonaire. And the first is to wear layers when you're on the plane. Now I realize that's new or not new rather advice for many of you. You probably already do because it gets really cold on planes, right? But it's especially important for Bonaire because as soon as they open those doors upon arrival, you're going to get hit with that humid, hot air um, from outside. Because when you deplane in bone air, it, you don't have a jetway. It stares down onto the tarmac. So make sure you have on short sleeve shirts under whatever the layers are to keep you warm on the plane. Because as soon as you get off, really as soon as they open the doors, you're going to be hot. So make sure you wear layers so you can strip those off and just have on uh, nice pleasant summer clothes when you arrive uh, to the airport. Now that brings up something else as you're getting off of the plane. If you're like me and others, maybe you want to take photos or video of you getting off of the plane. Do have a lens wipe ready so you can wipe the fog because your lens is going to fog up. That will happen. Um, so make sure you have a lens wipe ready to um, uh, get your lens on your glasses, sunglasses and uh, your, your camera clean so you can make your video. Now also something you need to do is have sunscreen and apply it before you get off of the plane. Now on Bonaire there's going to be a, a good portion of your time waiting in line for customs that will be outside in the sun. There is a covered area once you get up close to uh, where immigration control is where you show your passport. Um, but if you're on one of the large planes, especially on a Saturday when several may be landing at the same time, there's a good chance you're going to spend a good little bit of time out in the sun. So you want to be prepared for that. So do apply sunscreen before getting off of the plane. Now that's the fun part. That's arriving on Bonaire. Now, unfortunately, many of us, we have to leave at some point. So when it comes to airport procedures and leaving, do arrive somewhat early. Now this is not like some destinations where you need to be there hours prior. Two and a half hours is, I think is about, about when the gates open so you can check in. But I say do arrive early for several reasons. One is beat the lines. No one likes to stand in a line because just like upon arrival, you may be out in the sun checking in. Now there's a lot larger covered area for check-in than there is for arrival. But still, it could be, once again on Saturday, several flights leaving at the same time, you may be out in the sun. So you'll be hot, you'll be miserable. Don't do that. Um, now, same thing applies to getting through security. There may be a line out in the sun. Security moves pretty fast as long as you're under the cover. Um, but make sure you do arrive early. Another reason is to clear security early because there's not a lot of seating in the waiting area. They've added an outdoor area that is covered, so that's a little bit nicer, but it's hot. But there's not a lot of seating, so if you're someone who needs to sit down while waiting on their flight, do arrive early enough to get there to get a seat, okay? Also, do bring a power bank to charge your accessories because there are no outlets, all right? So if you're a person who has an iPad or a phone or something you need to make sure is charged, and sometimes the planes to and from Bonaire don't have outlets on them, even though they say they do, or they're the ones that are worn out and your plug won't stay in it. So bring a charging bank, um, a good little travel size one, charge your phones before you get on the, on the plane, offer it to a neighbor there in the waiting area, but do bring a charge bank there. Also do arrive early enough to eat. There's a restaurant called Techno Bar at the airport. 
great food. It's cheap eats. I'll eat there for lunch sometimes during the weeks when I'm here. Um, but once you get past security, the food is limited. There's a, a convenience type store. There's also a, a place where you can get food, but oftentimes they run out and the lines are long. So do eat prior to arriving at the airport. If you check in early enough, you can go over to Te Amo Beach and eat at one of the great food trucks there like Kite City or Stoked. Um, but I do recommend that you do eat prior to clearing security. Okay, back on the island. Let's talk about some fun stuff. This one's gonna sound ridiculous, but my next do is do get in the water. Now I realize that goes without saying, especially if you're here to dive or windsurf or something else, but if you're one of those folks who doesn't like to swim, doesn't like being in the ocean, I highly recommend that you do. There's nothing there that's gonna eat you. Maybe some things that'll sting you, but the folks there at your resort or your villa can advise you on how to avoid those. But there are no predators that ever really attack the folks in the water. So do get in the water. It's an experience you, you'll never forget because the water here is perfect. It's beautiful. It's the right temperature all the time. So do get in the water on bone air. But if you're getting in the water, do wear hard sole booties. Now the shoreline here is iron shore. It's coral rubble. It's not walking in on a beautiful sandy beach. So you need something to protect your feet. So if you're a diver, you probably already know to bring good uh, hard sole booties. But even if you're just swimming or snorkeling, have good water shoes that have a nice sturdy sole. It doesn't have to be a dive boot. It can just be a, um, a pair of Keens, for example, is, is one brand, or, or Chacos. Just something that's made to be in the water that has a good, thick, sturdy sole so you can protect your feet. So a don't for you is don't barefoot these entries. Do not get in the water without the shoes. That's a good do for you. Now, if you're in the water, you're out in the hot sun, we've already mentioned applying sunscreen before you um, leave the plane and things like that. But another do I have for you, and it's imperative that you do use reef-friendly, reef-safe sunscreen. And only use it when you need it. Only put it on the parts of your body that aren't going to be covered. You know, wear a good sun shirt when you're out of the water. Um, cover up, you can wrap a towel around your waist to cover your legs. But if you're using sunscreen and getting in the water, use reef-friendly sunscreen. You can get it here on Bonaire. I recommend that you buy it prior to leaving home. Um, there's a brand that listen I love. I'll, I'll put a link down in the description um, for that. But do use reef-friendly sunscreen. Okay. Something else that you need to know. A lot of times you're coming here specifically to dive or to windsurf or kiteboard or there's an activity you're coming to do. Here's something else I want you to know. Do do other things. Now I realize I just said do do but do other things other than what you came for. There are so many things here to do and see on the island, tour the island. There are so many great sights to see like the salt piles and the slave huts, uh, the flamingos up at, at Godemir. Um, go to Rincon to tour there. So make sure you do a, an island tour. Do do other things other than what you came to do. There are so many activities like caving and land sailing. We've even got a video on uh, all the other things you can do besides scuba diving and I'll either link that up here or, or, or put a link in the description so make sure you do other things than what you came here to do okay and while we're on that do visit Washington Park Washington Park is a unique place it's very special it's hard to describe so just go visit it follow this advice take a day plan it in schedule it in do visit Washington National Park it's very unique you've got lunar landscape with desert landscape beautiful beaches and ocean it, it's it's hard to describe you just have to go out and see it trust me on that one so if you're going to Washington Park and you are touring the island you're gonna need a vehicle so my next do is regardless of why you're here do rent a car and really don't rent a car rent a truck do rent a truck to tour the island and get around the island now you might say I'm not a diver that's what the divers use it doesn't matter if you're getting in the water you're gonna have sandy wet stuff it's easy just to throw that in the bed of the truck Instead of getting it inside your vehicle or the, the hatchback of your vehicle, it's gonna stink after a week's use. And I'll tell you, a truck is the best vehicle to use on the island, regardless of who you are. Think of all the, the amount of luggage you can put in the back of a truck getting to them from the airport. Get a truck. Do rent a truck on the island. Okay, a few other do's for you here. Here's a fun one, and that is do eat out for dinner and lunch. Now, there are so many great restaurants here on Bonaire. Some of them were recently voted some of the best in the Caribbean. Uh, so it's 
Volnair is truly a destination for foodies now. So just, just don't stay on your resort and get the meal plan and, and eat the food they've got available for you there. There are some great restaurants on the resorts, don't misunderstand, and I recommend you go to some. Brass Bork, Delphins, um, it, it, it's just one to name one. But eat out for dinner, and especially for lunch, best food on the island is available at restaurants that are typically only available for lunch, or you're probably not gonna travel there where they're located for dinner, not because it's unsafe, just because it's out of the way. You're not gonna leave to drive up to Rincon to go to Posada Paramira, for example. But do eat out for dinner and for lunch. Don't forget to eat out for lunch. Now, another recommendation for you, another do there is for dinner. Do make dinner reservations. Bonaire has become very popular and so has her restaurants. So make sure you make dinner reservations, um, especially on the weekends, but it's not a bad um, time to make them during the week as well. So do make dinner reservations. Um, prior to coming to the island, I always make them a few weeks out. So either once you get here, as soon as you get here, or prior to arriving, do make dinner reservations. Something else, um, do tip Bonaire. It's, it's not a huge tipping culture, but tips are appreciated, whether it's your dive guide or your service staff at your restaurant to, in, in resorts. Um, but tipping is allowed. It is somewhat expected. Your typical tip rates, 15 to 20% maybe even towards the 10% depending on if it's an activity like diving, uh, but do tip. So do bring some cash. Do bring cash to the island. You're not going to need much. Now credit cards are accepted pretty much everywhere, but there are some times, some activities, maybe some of the cave tours, um, tipping your dive guides would certainly be much more appreciated with cash. So you'll need some cash for things like that. Sometimes at some of the out of the way lunch places or food trucks, cash is just easier. Um, they may accept credit cards, but cash is easier. There are some island places on the island where the cell phone signal for the credit card machine they're using isn't very good, and it may take a while and some maneuvering to, to get it done. So sometimes cash is just convenient. Cash is king, right? The saying goes. You don't need a lot. Credit cards are readily accepted. Um, make sure you're using one that has um, no foreign transaction fees. But do bring some cash. You'll be glad you did. Um, and that's kind of it. Those, that's about it for the do's. I have two more important do's for you. Um, one is do subscribe to our channel. <laughs> We'd love to have you join our community. Make sure you hit that notification bell after you take a giant stride on the subscribe button. I know it sounds silly, but it really does help support our channel, just like giving it that thumbs up. But do subscribe to our channel. We'd have that. And then a final do I have for you, probably the most important one, that is do return to Bonaire. You're going to love it here. You're going to want to do that anyway. It's a phenomenal place to do things, not just dive, not just windsurf and kiteboard. Come here, be an eco-tourist, get out, see the island, go to Washington Park, do some biking, do some birding, go see the flamingos, hire a guide for a bird tour. You'll be glad you did. Go down to the mangroves uh, in Lock Bay and do some kayaking. Once again, come on down to Bonaire. Do make sure you come to Bonaire and do make sure you return to Bonaire. Do give this video a thumbs up. I can't thank you enough for taking time to watch. I hope you found it helpful. I hope this has been some advice that you can take and use for your trip to Monaire. You're gonna love it here. But you know what, for now, I'm gonna go find Liz. We're gonna gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next dive site.